In this video, we are going to see how to send WhatsApp message to new leads that have been generated through form submission in Systemy.io. Now, Systemy.io is an all-in-one marketing platform using which I have created a lead capture form and my objective is that on submission of that form, I should get a new lead and a WhatsApp message must be sent to this new lead. Here my trigger the application is systemate.io where the event is user submits the form and my action application is interact where I'm sending a WhatsApp message. So this here is my systemate.io account where every time this form is filled then automatically a message will be received to the lead on WhatsApp. Now to understand how you can do this yourself, integrate and automate this entire process, let's start. So this here is the dashboard of Pabli Connect software. You can reach here by clicking on the link which is given in the video description. So if you are an existing user, simply sign in. And if you are a new user, sign up. It is not going to take more than two minutes. And once you reach the dashboard, on the right hand side, you can see a tab create workflow. Click on this and a dialog box will appear which will ask you to name this workflow. Now here you can give any random name. So here I'm going to name it as send WhatsApp message to new lead in systemy.io. Let's click on create. As we do that here, you can see we have reached another window which has got two extremely important events. One here is trigger, another one is action. Now triggers and actions are basically those two principles or concepts on which this entire automation works. Trigger this when this happens, action says do this. Basically action here is the automated response of our trigger application. Now let's understand this with the help of an example. So the moment you swipe your card and payment is captured, then automatically a notification is received on WhatsApp, SMS, etc. So in such a case, your trigger application will be the payment gateway like Insta, Mojo, Razorpay, etc. And your action application will be WhatsApp, SMS sending services. Okay, now let's come to our use case. So here my objective is every time I receive a new lead through form submission in systemy.io, then automatically a WhatsApp message must be sent to the lead. So for this, I'm going to choose my trigger application as systemy.io. And then the trigger event here will be contact just subscribe to a form. And once we do that here, you can see we have received a webhook URL. This is going to act as a bridge for connecting systemy.io and Pabli Connect. So I'm going to copy this. Once done, here you have to read the following help test. Please read this carefully. Let me now show you exactly what you have to do. So this here is my systemy.io dashboard. So here, first of all, let me show you the funnel that I have created. So the name of the funnel is lead collection. So every time the form is submitted and the lead is received and I want it to be added in this particular funnel list, which is lead collection. Okay, now I'm going to take you to automations. Let's go to rules. Here we have to connect Pabli Connect and Systemy.io. Okay, now here you can see on the right hand side, there's a tab create. Let's click on this. Once done, here we have to select the trigger. So I'm going to click on the plus icon. And here it will be funnel step form subscribed. So this is going to occur when a contact has just subscribed to a form. I'm going to select this. Now here we have to select the funnel. I have just shown you the funnel. It is lead collection. Now what is the funnel step? So here it will be collect leads for business. Let's come to action. Again, I'm going to click on this plus icon. So here I'm going to connect a webhook. So here, HTTP request will be sent to a URL when an event happens in systemy.io. I'm going to select this. Now, here we have to paste the URL, this one that we had just copied. I'm going to copy this once again and paste this over here. Let's click on save rule. So you can see that the new rule has been created successfully. Now, I'm going to take you back to Pabli Connect. And here it is saying that now log into the application. We have already done that where you have added the webhook URL and now do a test submission so that the data can be recorded here in the webhook response. You can see that it is waiting for the webhook response, which means that now I have to fill up the form so that I can receive test data to check the integration. So here I'm going to take you to the form that I have created. Now let's fill up the form. So let's say the full name here is dummy new one, two, three. Here is the email address. Let's say the website link. Okay. So here I'm going to choose Pabli Connects link. I'm just going to copy this, go back to this form and I'm going to fill this here. 
okay next we have to enter the mobile number so i'm going to write plus nine one nine now this is just another test number let's click on submit so you can see that the form has been submitted now i'm going to take you back to Pabli connect you can see here that we have received the response here the data funnel step type is quiz the name is collect leads for business this is the step id here we have the funnel name funnel id as i take you down so here we have the contact id this here is the field surname basically the website then we have the phone number complete name email address date and time of creation and account email so once i have received this information now my objective is to send a whatsapp message to the lead that we have just received so here i'm going to choose the application interact let's click on this and the action event here will be to send whatsapp template message let's click on connect as we do that here you can see that public connect wants to connect itself in the interact account i'm going to select add new connection now here we have to enter the secret key to set up this connection so i have already logged into my interact account and now i'm going to click on this hyperlink here and as i do that here you can see we have the developer settings page this here is the secret key let's copy this go back to public connect and paste this over here let's click on save to set up this connection so we can see that interact and public connect are now connected now here we have to mention the country code phone number or full phone number so if you have the number along with the country code just mention it here or else you can mention the country code here and phone number here now here let's check the response that we have received you can see we have received the number along with the country code so i'm going to leave the first two fields blank and here i'm going to enter the phone number so let's go to step one and this here is our phone number okay so here we have entered the phone number now this method with which i have added the information here is known as mapping and this is important so that every time the workflow runs it can take the new data into consideration had i written the same information manually then even when my workflow was running in real time with some new information it wouldn't have taken that data instead it would have been stuck with this manually written data so to avoid that we map the information next we have the template code name so templates are basically pre-written messages that can be sent to your users where there are certain variables that can be changed with every new message which means that every time you send a message it would be personalized so now here let me show you the templates that i have created already so these are the active templates so these are the templates that i already have created and here i have recently created this template new lead final so here you can see this is the name this here is the category the language selected is english whenever you are creating a template you have the option to add a header here i have selected none you could have gone with text image video or document then comes the body of the template so here we have the message along with certain numbers within double curly braces now these numbers are variables that can be changed with every message so here we have the name so dear and the name so every time there's a new message new information then automatically this name will be changed similarly the email address the name of the company can be changed then we have the photo so if you want to add a short line of text to the bottom of your message template you can add that here and here we have call to action buttons now we need the template code so this here in the address bar is the template code i'm going to copy this go back to public connect and here i'm going to paste the same then we have the language code so the language was english and the code here is en it is also written here code for english is en then since we did not select any header so there is no header value to be added if there was any text or url so you could have added the same here then we have the body variable values now again we are going to map the information how first of all i'm going to click on this go to step one the first variable was name and let's scroll down this here is the name i'm going to separate the information with a comma next i need the email address of the person here it is now i need the website and also the name of the company so this is going to be static information as it is not going to change so here i'm just going to write the same manually www.pabli.com and pabli connect 
okay so once this is done now the position of cta button so since we did not select cta button so i'm going to leave these two fields blank let's click on save and send test request and as we do that you can see i have received the response according to which now a message must be received by the user on whatsapp so let's go and check the same and here you can see we have received the message dear smart user one you can see that the name has been mapped here then here the email address company's website and here we have the name of the company and this here is our message so this basically means that our integration is a success but we also need to check the same in real time so i'm going to take you to the lead generation form in systemate.io so this here is our form let's fill in the information once again let's say this time the name is new dummy here we have the email address this is the website link and this here is the mobile number i'm going to click on submit and as soon as i do that i should receive a message on whatsapp so let's check the same and yes here you can see we have received another message so this means that our integration is a complete success taking you back to public connect let's quickly understand what we have done so here our trigger application is systemate.io the event is contact just subscribe to a form then our action application is interact where we have to send whatsapp template message i hope this is absolutely clear to you if in case you have any doubt you can refer to the workflow which is there in the video description you can also clone the same and start to process immediately. Apart from this, if you have any specific integration to work on, you can always write to us. Not only this, but you can integrate multiple applications using Public Connect software. To ask any of your query, you have to write at forum.pabli.com. You can also visit our website, which is www.pabli.com slash connect. To get all the details about the latest updates, the integrations and applications, you can visit our Facebook group. If in case you have found this video helpful, then do not forget to share this with your friends and colleagues so that they can also get into automation and make their life easy. I'm going to see you very soon with different integrations and automations. Do not forget to like, share and subscribe. Take care of yourself.